What's up YouTube? This is Rambo coming today with another episode of Making Plays. So today we're going to look at a situation on a capture flag raid against Team Caliber. Uh, this was a competitive scrim uh, preparing for Gfinity. So let's get this going. So off the start, I'm going to go for map control and get kick control of my teammate that's in, uh, in money right now. So um, he gets picked from a guy that's outside money. So one of my players is River that just picked up Sharp. So I'm going to try and focus the guy down that's front kitchen. Try and get him, try and kill him as fast as I can so I can get map control with my team. Um, as my teammates push up, two of my teammates die. One guy got a kill. Uh, one guy got killed pushing ring, and the other guy, uh, Merc, got killed pushing river at this point. So I know there's a guy in uh, in ring probably gonna be looking through pillars to try and kill me, and then there's a guy river who might come back up open stairs. So I'm gonna try and get myself in a safer position at the side at their side of the base, looking for the last player that's on spawn right now, which is I believe gonna be Sharp. Um, the player I just killed, Neslo, is gonna be spawning about four or five seconds from uh, four seconds from now. Uh, so I'm gonna be have to looking for him at a certain point in time. But at this very moment. All I have to worry about is Sharp in the situation. So I get shot from ring. They know where I am. I got called out. One of my teammates kills the ring guy. So at this point, I can only really get shot from open stairs and the spawner, which is Sharp. So I'm going to try and look into red as one of my teammates pushing ring. I get the kill I get the kill on Sharp, which is a really big kill in this situation. So as the play continues, I'm getting shot from their base. That's Nezlo on spawn. And now... Stainville's got a huge two-piece at our base, killing two of my teammates running back to flag. So at this point, I have to worry about my own base. There's really no point in me pushing. Nezzle their flag peg, so there's really not much I can do. Another important thing to note on this on this play is I killed Sharp, and Theory died before Sharp. So they're they're going to be spawning river at this point because Nezlo spawned there. Um, so Nezlo was at their flag, spawned river. Uh, as you saw him rotate back to flag, shooting me at this point. So that's the information I need to run back at my base. So I'm going to be have to be warned about river at this point. Stainville pulls the flag, and this is what makes this play really a clutch play is the fact that I'm using a smoke to cover my own push. If you look at the mini map, one guy that spawned river at this point. I'll back it up so you guys can see on the mini map uh, purely. Um, this guy, that's Nezlo, or no, I believe that was another player. Uh, was that Nezla actually? No, that was Nezla. That was, a, uh, I believe, this player at this point. Yeah, Nezla's pushing up middle. So Theory is the player that was on spawn that we killed ring. Um, he's going to be trying to cut off River to try and help his teammate uh, run the flag out. So I'm going to smoke up, jump straight into Tiki Bar. Stainville's going to be trying to run this flag out. I get the kill on Stainville, get the kill and the return. This is a play that if I would have not made this play, this flag would have 90% sure been captured because all, two of my, one of my teammates was rotating back to the flag and he would have been the only player trying to make a play against Stainville and Theory pushing up River to try and cover him. So really, like I said, the important part of this play is using the smoke to my advantage. It, wasn't a, it, was, it was a defensive smoke. People have to understand that is when you run a smoke on CTF, there's really two situations you should be using it in. It's to either A, cut off, uh, try and smoke the flag pay to try and get a flag out in a situation where there's maybe a guy at their base and try and create some diversion, uh, pretty much like create some surprise factor. Or the other situation is to cut off a choke point. It's kind of, you can use a smoke as a wall. Um, so in this very situation, I use a smoke on river. If you look behind me, I'm all smoked out. We're going to look at Theory's point of view. Um, he's absolutely seeing nothing if I didn't smoke this play. Here, I'll fast forward it a bit. Um, as you're going to be able to see here, Theory's going to look river, doesn't see anything, try and, like, throwing some sort of stun, and there I get the flag kill and a flag return as Theory is trying to push up. Theory probably would have got the kill on me or would have been able to communicate to his teammate that I was pushing Tiki Bar if that smoke wasn't thrown. So I hope you guys enjoyed this making play video. I'll be coming out with more commentaries and such in the near future. Have a good day, guys. Peace.